it was a well managed game on on Saturday against Newcastle. Um, are you pleased the way things went for the um, for the team and, and yourself? Yeah, I think um, a bit of a shock uh, to, sh to change uh, nine and ten uh, as Benny went on, I, and I myself went on uh, earlier on in the game. And um, I think uh, from there that we, we had opportunities to score tries, um, which we know of, and, and you know we, we sort of take a lot of confidence from that. But we need to know that we should capitalise on those in, in future games. But um, I think yeah, we, we we're very happy with the win. You know, Newcastle actually defended very well, and and, and we're dogged in doing so. So. Um, Take take the win. It's another home win, and, and move on to to Wasps this weekend. Um, over your time at the club, you've become a well known leader and a well known uh, personality. Um, how important is that to have you know people like that in the club to to inject that you know that, that personality? <laughs> no, I, I uh, appreciate you saying that. Um, I think there's uh, I think there's a lot of personalities in the, in the team, and I and I feel um, it, it's massively important for for a squad to have them. Uh, uh, you know, I, I bring sort of I don't know bits and pieces to it, but there's other guys who bring a lot more. And, and um, week to week, you're getting uh, sort of pressurised into to playing every game and and, uh, and and getting that win and, and getting a good performance. So during the week, you know, when it's downtime, when we're sort of having lunch and things like that, it's always great to have uh, jokers like uh, Strettle and, and Ashton around and and uh, Strether. They're, they're, they're some big personalities, and and yeah, I, th I think everybody brings their little bit of little bit of the pie, and, and it makes a really good mix. So with some minutes under your belt uh, against um, against Newcastle, is it good to get you know some some match sharpness, um, especially going into um, a, a massive game uh, in the LV Cup in a couple of weeks against Northampton at home? Yeah, very much so. I think um, I know at my time at Saracens has sort of been spent with. with uh, um, sort of filling in gaps when Charlie and Owen aren't on around, and uh, it was nice to get some game time, albeit through an injury. Um, and uh, like you say, it, it, it does keep you sharp. Otherwise, you can go for a couple of weeks without playing, and and hopefully, I get some game time this weekend as well. And um, like you say, it's a, it's a big game for us. You know, the, the LV Cup semi final at home against Northampton. Um, it's going to be a, a cracker, and and hopefully, a lot of guys playing now, whilst the international guys are away, are, are getting a lot of match sharpness. So hopefully, that will lead into the LV Cup and. And, um, and put us in good stead to, to, to get a victory. We've seen a lot of change over the last season, um, a few players departing um, and of course, if, like you said, a few injuries. Yet we're still well placed in, in all three competitions and the Storm guys won, won the A-League as well and yeah. the under-18s the under won their championship as well. What does that say about the Saracens way and the Saracens planning? I, th I think it's, um, it's good, you know, we've had a big squad for a long time and, and, and I suppose it's a lot to do with, with situations like this. We've got a few guys away at internationals, and we have a few guys injured. So it's now time for the squad to step up and 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 um, perform. And um, I think the management from the team is uh, from the coaches. So has always been good, you know, building people's confidence into the these run of games that we we need the actual whole squad to step up and and um, and continue our performance level, if not sort of raise it. Um, whilst we have people out and uh, yeah like you say we, under 18s did unbelievably well very good to win that second team competition um, LV Cup is, is the next thing that we sort of looking at and well obviously apart from Wasps this weekend and uh, and then sort of pushing on from there you know we've got to go, it's, it's always business end at the end of the season so hopefully we can come away with some some wins and some get further in competitions. Like you said Wasps this weekend um, at the Rico Stadium um, first time we played there uh, what, what can we expect from uh, a good Wasp team this weekend. Yeah, I mean they're full of confidence, and and, and rightly so. They've been playing very well. Had some very good wins. They've, they've 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 won a lot at Rico, you know, ever since they changed. So it's going to be a tough game, a very physical game. You know, they they have a very good defence, um, and uh, some outstanding attacking players. So um, it's going to be a tough tough away fixture for us. And uh, you know, we, we're just going to bring the same thing that we bring every week, and and that's. Um, Try, try work the game out. Try, try uh, impose ourselves physically, and hopefully uh, come away with with another good performance. Um, and you know, th then we're on to then we're on to a bit of a break in the Premiership, and LV Cup is is the next uh, the next sort of project.